Today we're learning how to make this beautiful animated five steps PowerPoint presentation and it's fully customizable all the way from scratch in PowerPoint. The tutorial consists of three steps. First, we'll look at creating the slide, then we'll look at adding the content, and lastly, we'll look at animating the two slides together. Let's start from a blank slide and we're going to add a rectangle from the top left corner of the slide and we're going to drag it down to the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect, we're going to make it blue and remove the outline. Now we want to make five copies, so hold control, shift and drag, release and then hold shift while you position it to the left. And this way you get these nice markers and that way it's positioned perfectly. Do that again, number three, number four, and this way we have five. You can see there's a space on the white. So what we're going to do is we're going to select everything, right click, group together, and then just extend the selection until the border of the slide, right click, ungroup, and this way they are equally proportional and the slide is perfectly divided into five. Let's give them a different tint of blue. So each time we're going for a little bit darker blue and then all the way at the end, we're going for the darkest. Now what we want to do is we want to add a triangle. We want to rotate the triangle 90 degrees and then position the triangle somewhere at the top. We're going to give it the same fill as the first color and no outline. Now this is a little bit too much, so let's reduce the size so that it's a little bit more subtle. This looks about right, maybe a little bit bigger. That looks good. We're going to copy this for the other shapes. So hold control and shift while you drag, and then you give it the same color as the rectangle on the left side. And one more, which goes all the way at the end of the slide, and we're going to make that the darkest. Next, we're going to select both the rectangle and the triangle, shape format, and we're going for union. We're going to merge the shapes into one. Do the same for the next steps. So repeat that process. And you'll see the little triangles disappear, but that's because they're now hidden in the back. But we'll solve that in a second. So repeat the steps until all of them are merged. And then start from the left and right click, send to back, and do the same for the other tabs. That way everything is nicely positioned and layered correctly. We're going to select all the shapes, right click, format object, go to the effect step, shadow, and for the shadow we're going to add a drop shadow from the right, so the offset from the right. This might be a little bit hard, so let's add a little bit of a blur and reduce the transparency slightly until you are happy with the result and this gives some sort of a stacked paper look and feel of the shapes that we've created. Now we want to add a little bit of the content, so let's go for a text box and add a text box on the top. You can fill this with whatever content that you want. In our case, let's do ABC. Font, we're going for Montserrat. And let's go for a extra bold. Make it white and increase the font size. Let's try 55. Can be quite a lot bigger, maybe 85. That looks better. Center it in the middle and position it correctly. I think we can even go a little bit larger, somewhere in the 100, maybe 110 region. Position it so it's about the same height as the triangle that's extending, and then create a copy and release it once the lines, the guidelines start popping up. Then you know it's perfectly in the center. And do that once more. And of course we have to change it, so A, B, C. D and E. Let's reduce it slightly and as long as you center everything you can select them all at once and that won't affect the design. This looks a bit more balanced. Now we're going to add a, a little title. So add another text box. Let's give it a dummy title, Lorem Ipsum. Make it white. We're going for the same font, Montserrat, but in this case let's maybe just do bold extend a little bit, center it in the middle, and then also position it in the center of the shape that we've created. We're going to add one more text box for the dummy text, and then we're adding some text, reduce the size, 
and let's go for a justified text so it aligns nicely on both sides and center it in the middle. Now we're going to select the text, the title and the text, position it on the slide where we want and then create a duplicate for the other tabs and release it once the guidelines say that it's perfectly in the middle and once more for the last one. Now we want to add some icons, so go to insert icons and here you can choose any of the icons that you want. You can also use your own, that doesn't really matter. Let's use some nature icons and we're going for the outlines, outline icons. Let's pick some flowers and then once we have five, we click on insert. We're going for no outline and graphics fill white and then let's position them at the bottom, make them slightly smaller and these we can just position in each tab, position them on the same line and in the center. And then once more for the start and last one. There we go. You can select them all, hold control, shift, and then you can increase the size or reduce the size from the center. And that's a nice way to scale the icons all at once while remaining in the same spot or the same position. We're going to position the icons a little bit higher. That looks a bit better. Now let's look at step number two, which is creating the animation effect. And for that, we're going to group all the tabs and the contents together. So select everything, right click and group. Do the same for B. You can use the shortcut Control G or Command Option G if you're working on a Mac. And then you group everything together. You see now we have to send everything backwards again. So send. Send to back, send to back, so that everything is layered correctly. Once you've done this, you can right click, duplicate the slide, and now we're going to stack the objects together. So grab the B one and drag it to the left, grab number C, and then make sure that the spacing here is about the same. Hold shift while you drag so you can move the object in a straight line. That will help a lot with positioning. And then once you're happy with the five stacks, then we select everything at once, maybe shift it down a little bit so we can see the edge of the slide. Hold shift while you drag it and then leave a little bit space so that the positioning is about the same. And then put everything back in place. Now the background is white, so we're going to change that. Right click format background and we're going for a gradient fill and a gradient a radial fill with the right stop is going to be very dark blue and then the left stop is going to be a little bit of a lighter tint so that way it gives a light in the center. Of course we have to do the same for the first slide so right click format background on the first slide and then add a gradient fill. If you then move one of the objects you can see the background has changed. Ctrl Z to put everything back in place. Now we have to still add the title to the slide so add a text box in the middle and in our case, it could be five steps. So let's add the word five. Once it adds, we're going for extra bold font size, C150, extend the box, center it, make it white, arrange, align, align to middle of the slide, arrange, align, and align to center. I'm going to position it slightly above center because we're going for a small subtitle. Hold shift and control while you drag to create a copy. Reduce that font size to 50. And let's call this subtitle steps. Make it yellow, yellow orange tint. And let's go for a sign painter, which is a written font. Then we can increase the font size a little bit more. Five steps. Right click, format shape. Let's add some drop shadow to the text options. Shadow to the top. So offset to the top, and this gives a nice shadow effect on the letters. Increase the blur size a little bit, maybe also the distance, transparency. Play around until you're happy with the settings. Let's also add a little bit of shadow to the five, just to drop shadow from the bottom right, where the light comes in from the top left. Same here, play around with the settings until you are happy with the result. Once you've done that, you're going to select this, and go to the first page, Hold control while you scroll backwards and then drag the title outside of the slide. 
Now, of course, this is our first slide, so we have to position it on top, select the second slide and add a transition, morph transition. Let's increase the duration to about 275. Select the first slide and preview. And now you know how to make this beautiful five steps morph transition in PowerPoint to explain your concept in a very nice and dynamic way. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to watch this video on the screen right now.